Welcome to the Newfeld Legal Business Law video series. My name is Christopher Newfeld and I am a corporate commercial lawyer with nearly 20 years of legal experience. With a strong emphasis on facilitating the expansion of foreign businesses into Canada. In this particular video we will be looking at primary legal structure for undertaking business in Canada, that being the corporation. A corporation is the most prevalent form of legal entity for business in Canada and recommended to foreign clients in most instances as a suggested business entity for conducting their Canadian business expansion. A corporation is a legal construct that is separate and distinct from its shareholders who capitalize the corporation. Subject to certain exceptions, generally shareholders are not responsible for the debts, liabilities, or obligations of the corporation. In addition, the corporation enjoys perpetual succession meaning that the existence of the corporation continues despite the death of any or all of its shareholders. Corporate income is taxed at a combined federal and provincial flat corporate rate rather than at the marginal individual rates. A federal or provincial incorporation. Corporations in Canada can be created by way of either federal or provincial legislation with a determination also needing to be made as to what province will be the initial jurisdiction for its registered office. If the initial jurisdiction and registered office is in a province different from the provincial incorporating legislation, or the company is incorporated pursuant to federal incorporating legislation, the company will need to be extra-provincially registered in that particular province. Understanding the specifics thereof and how the rules effectively operate can make a significant difference such that you are structuring your Canadian based company correctly for making efficiency and administrative ease and legal compliance. Registered Office The Registered Office and Records Office is where the Canadian based company keep its, its corporate records and where official documents will be served in the corporation. This must be in the province where the corporation was incorporated if the incorporation was undertaken by way of a provincial incorporating statute or in the province designated by the company if undertaken by way of the federal incorporation statute with the added requirement of being extra provincially registered in that province. The registered office should be capable of receiving any documents that are sent there since legally they will be assumed to have been received by the corporation. Information about the registered office address is corporate information and as such is required to be made public. Residency of Directors The incorporating legislation for a Canadian federal corporation and many provincial corporations require that at least one quarter of the directors be resident Canadians. Qualifications of a resident Canadian require that the individual is either a Canadian citizen or a permanent resident under the Federal Immigration and Refugee Protection Act, together with being ordinarily resident in Canada. And although certain provinces do not have this resident Canadian director requirement, the administrative challenges and costs associated with incorporating those provinces, maintaining an office and other legal requirements in that province, and then being extra provincially registered and operating from an entirely different province can be extremely onerous and problematic. Instead, it is often preferable to speak with experienced Canadian legal counsel to effectuate available strategies that could have added secondary benefits if correctly undertaken. Corporate name. The corporate name that you register for your Canadian-based company does not provide it with specific proprietary rights to that name although it does provide practical protections where the corporate registries typically refrain from allowing the registration of the same or similar corporate names to that of an existing corporation in their jurisdiction. Should you wish to augment your corporate name protection, the name can be registered as a federal trademark pursuant to Canadian Trademarks Act, which describes exclusive rights to use that particular trademark in association with its goods and services throughout Canada. Share structure. A Canadian corporation's share structure can take on a multiplicity of forms to facilitate the specific purposes of the Canadian business pursuit. 
with the capacity to create and issue shares that can be voting or non-voting, be assigned special voting rights, have limited or unlimited participation in equity, and may be redeemable for a fixed price of the option of the corporation or the holder. By assigning and allocating the appropriate share characteristics, there is a capacity to separate capital contributions and control from participation in future profits. This can be particularly useful in designing share structures for joint ventures and in addressing taxation issues. Unanimous Shareholders Agreements Unanimous shareholders agreements are exceedingly important and powerful tools that are utilized by corporations in Canada to manage their operations and facilitate exit structures so as to optimize their viability. Although this wouldn't necessarily be a concern where the subsidiary corporation in Canada is wholly owned and controlled by its parent corporation from its home country, when ownership and or control is dispersed amongst numerous parties, including new Canadian business partners, a unanimous shareholders agreement is an intelligent legal tool for protecting your Canadian investment pursuits. Unanimous shareholders agreements elevate the powers and controls of the shareholders over that of the directors. This transference of powers to the shareholders serves to relieve a degree of liability from the directors such that the shareholders are then subject to those duties and liabilities. This can be useful where the foreign parent corporation wishes to limit the powers of the directors of its Canadian subsidiary corporation and effectively manage Canadian operations from the home country, especially where these two companies have different directors. For legal representation and effective legal counsel when incorporating a business corporation in Canada or other business legal matters and commercial transactions in Canada, feel free to contact myself by telephone or email as set forth in this video or through our website. Thank you.